The cleanup continues in Nicholas County after flooding destroyed parts of Carlisle early yesterday morning. Now people nearby and even in neighboring counties are trying to help and get those impacted back on their feet. LAS 18's Austin Pollock found out what is most needed. Carlisle resident Billy Hitton leans up against the side of a car outside her business and her home, both of which she has had for 30 years inside. This is the kitchen where most of the stuff happens. One of her relatives walks me through that home and business, both damaged. I couldn't get out because the water was so deep. It was almost up to my neck. Her appliances, stove, oven, refrigerator, all gone. TVs, gone. And even some of the most sacred things. I lost all of my pictures and uh, all my clothes are wet. Those in and around Carlisle say cleaning supplies are some of the most needed items. In neighboring Bourbon County, Paris police officers and firefighters spent Saturday afternoon collecting non-perishable food and bottled water. As customers came out of the grocery store, they left donations to deliver to Carlisle. They, they don't know where the funding and when it's going to be here, so any monetary donation is going to be awesome to get for them. With so many precious items either inside or outside, there's a big need for totes and bins, just anything to save items close to heart. A lot of these people don't have anything to be able to store the items that they're trying to salvage. Um, they're also finding that cleaning supplies is very, very much so needed. So in the next few days, weeks or months, it's a reminder to look after one another. When, when your neighbor needs help, you need to go and help them. What does this community need right now? Love. Love and understanding. Reporting in Nicholas County, Austin Pollock, LAX 18 News. Well, even though that donation drive in Paris is over, you can still reach out to the police department to find out how you can help.